Oh man, today's Friday. So that means Zer's pulling up. I hope Zer has something good. My homies told me that he's over in the Winding Cove, so I'm gonna go check to see what he's got. Maybe we'll have a really good exotic weapon I can buy or something like that. I'll take just about anything he's got. Uh, there you are, Zer. All right, bud. Let's see if you got any good weapons or something like that. Maybe a good piece of armor. And what do we have here? That man is Zer selling Arbalest? Well, ain't that a W? Okay, first off, how was that intro? Thought that intro was pretty cool. Huh? Huh? Nobody? Anyways, yeah. Yeah, look, so Zer it pulled up with one of the like top three exotics for PV in the entire game, right? Even pretty good in PvP, but that's not my forte. Regardless of such, when you think of just the top tier of exotics for PvE, right? What are the ones that come to mind, right? Obviously, you know, you got G Horn, Wither Horde, and then Arbalus is another one that is just instantly pops into everybody's mind. If you are a new player and you do not have this weapon and you do not have 29 legendary shards my guy you need to get those 29 legendary shards before tuesday and cop this exotic kinetic linear fusion rifle okay there is a reason why arbalist is held in such a high regard amongst everybody in the community that for everybody that has used it there's a reason why it got a nerf not too too long ago and it is still just a complete total freight train this linear fusion rifle literally gives zero fucks like it could not care less you know what's something that's really annoying that nobody likes to go up against match game you know it completely ignores match game completely dunks on it arbalist what shield you got i don't care arbalist one shot instantly boop, gone instantly boop, and it's kinetic weapon oh barrier champions one shot boop, instantly stun entire barrier gone instantly boop. arbalist is an absolute s tier weapon that shines the most in in-game content when you need your exotics to put in work any piece of master content master nightfall master raid any gm arbalist is going to be an s tier option also keep in mind the arbalist catalyst does give it genesis which actually pairs pretty well with something like disruption break which arbalist already has as another perk on it allowing you to pop a shield instantly reload your mag and then have your arbalist do more damage on the follow-up shots because of disruption break even further strengthening this damn gun's effectiveness inside of the hardest content inside of destiny 2 all right <sighs> I think that's everything that I needed to be said. And go ahead and pick up that gun and subscribe for more content.